Let us take another problem on multiplication of algebraic expressions. Suppose I have 12xy and minus 6xz and I am told to multiply these two numbers. So how do we solve them? Okay, let's take them one by one. Now, in the earlier example that I had given you, I told you that 12xy can be written as 12 into x into y. I mean, what I mean is that I had told you that any algebraic expression can be written as in this form, right? Multiplied by minus 6 into x into z. Right? So effectively, we have these three numbers here and another three numbers here. Now, in a multiplication, whenever you want to do this, what I told you was that you should try and get all the variables which have similar characteristics, say, you have numbers in the form of 6 and 12. You have x, which is here and here. You have y, which is a separate number. And then you also have z, which is again a separate number. Now, we know that by changing the order of these numbers, namely x, I guess this color is not available, x, y, 6, x, Z, it really doesn't make a difference. So I can reclub them in a manner that this is written as similar things. So I take the numbers, which is 12 here, then I multiply this by minus 6. So basically now minus 6 is also gone. Then I take x from here and I write multiplied by x. I take another x from here and I again write x, I take y from here into y and then I bring down the last number which is z, z. And then I start multiplying them. So I get 12 into minus 6 is equal to minus 72 into, now I have x and x, x means x to the power 1, x to the power 1. Now we know whenever you multiply this, in the last example also I told you, you do a sum of the powers, 1 plus 1, into y, that's the only number which is there, and into z. So this can be written as x to the power 2, this can be written as minus 72, and then y, and then z. I've just removed the multiplication sign because when we write this way also, it implies that it is being multiplied. So my solution comes to minus 72 x square y z. Again, let me just recapitulate the steps for you so that you know whenever you look at it in the future, it's easier for you. The first thing is arrange all elements in groups. So you have groups of numbers, you have groups of variables. Let's say x, y, z. Multiply similar items. So you multiplied 12 by 6, you multiplied x by x, y and z, nothing was there, so I just kept them as it is. And then you reach the solution. Fairly simple.